Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Sports Blitz here, and we're back with another NFL mock draft. Today, we've got a one round mock draft with trades coming. So I'm excited. There's going to be I'm going to try to get a few trades in here. You know, I'm not going to go crazy with it because let's be honest, most drafts don't have like a ton of trades, um, especially in the first round. So but we'll definitely be be sure to get a couple in there. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get on into it. So with the number one overall pick, I will be honest here. The Jags with with their situation, I think they should consider trading back. But I don't particularly think they will. I think they're going to go ahead and just see the golden opportunity right here and snag Evan Neal from Alabama. Number two, here is actually where we will get our first trade. It was announced earlier that the Lions are open for business for trading. So I'm going to go ahead, have the Steelers try to trade up with the Lions. Um, they're going to offer their first and second, as well as next year's first. Um, let's see. I thought that would be about enough value, to be honest. Um, next year's first and second for, I don't know, maybe next year's third as well. No, I'm, I'm looking at the at the offer ex acceptance thing here in the bottom right. Um, and again, guys, I want to I want to be completely clear here. Just because the trade goes through here doesn't mean that's going to be the exact trade, okay? It could be totally different. So keep that in mind as we're doing this. Wow, it's still saying offer acceptance unlikely. Oh my gosh, how much do I have to offer? Okay, that at least says likely, very likely, okay. Okay, again guys, I want to clarify it is not going to take this much to get up to the second overall pick. It'll take a lot, okay? It'll probably take this year's first, this year's second, possibly this year's third, probably next year's first and maybe second. Um, so I would take maybe like here up, to be honest, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I don't know exactly. But we've got to add in all this other stuff just so the trade goes through. So don't don't get mad at me in the comments for what this says. But we're going to send the offer. The Steelers will be on the board here at number two. And they are going to snag their apparently favorite quarterback in the draft in Malik Willis. There have been um, multiple reports of the Steelers just going nuts for Malik Willis for in these senior bowl practices. Um, I hear they are a huge fan of him, prefer him very much over uh over Kenny Pickett. And let's be honest, with the with the hype that Malik Willis has been getting lately, I'm not sure that he's gonna make it down there at number 20. So the Steelers are gonna be aggressive and go get Malik Willis. So at number three, the Houston Texans are going to actually get Aiden Hutchinson here. I think it would be a miracle if he actually falls to number three for the Texans. Um, they get they get a good stud edge rusher there to replace, you know, obviously J.J. Watt. Number four, the Jets are on the board, and they're going to go ahead and snag Kayvon Thibodeau. I think they'll really want to improve their pass rush with... Uh, with Carl Lawson coming back, I mean, that's a that's a really nasty pass rush combination. I really like Kayvon. I think he'll help that defense immensely. Number five, the Giants are on the board, and I'm going to have them take Icky. I mean, I think that I think that makes plenty of sense. Do I really need to explain the reasoning there? Um, I think it makes sense. Um, here at number six. The Panthers, I feel like, would really be looking at quarterback here if, um, you know, if, if the right guys are on the board. Um, their general manager Scott Fitterer has said that 
Um, if the right guy is there, we've got to take him. You know, otherwise, you know, definitely take a look at um, offensive tackles. And if not, maybe try to trade back a little bit. See if you can still get one of the better players in the draft. Um, and I really like his philosophy on that. I think where both, excuse me, both Evan Neal and Malik Willis, and you could even say Akima Kwonu are off the board. I think the Panthers are definitely going to want to try to trade here. Um, so I think what we're going to do, um, let's see, I'm not going to do the, the Broncos because I think the Broncos may be in strong consideration for Aaron Rodgers. I think what we're going to do, yeah, we'll try Washington. We will try Washington trading up to Panthers at number six. So they are going to offer their first and a second. Um, I think they're probably going to want to be throw in like a sixth as well. To be honest, first, second and sixth. Um, they may possibly be able to get a seventh back from Carolina. It's really hard to say, like, I don't know. There's, there's some of these picks that are so, so valuable and there's some of them that are less valuable than you think. So it's really hard to say here. I think Washington would be willing to do this trade here. So we're going to go ahead and send it. Panthers accepted it. So Washington's on the board at number six. They go ahead and take Kenny Pickett. I do like him a lot. Um, I think I I think he will do well in the NFL. I really do. I think he has the potential to work up to like a Justin Herbert type player. I really do. I think their play styles are very similar. I think they both have an insanely strong arms. Um. Yeah, I. I really think he's a good fit for them. I know Kenny Pickett has been struggling in the senior bowl a little bit. Um, but I think that's kind of to be expected. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to lower his draft stock very much, if any. So so then with the Giants seventh pick, um, they are going to go ahead and snag. <clears throat> you know what? I usually double dip here. On offensive line, I usually go ahead and snag uh, Tyler Linderbaum, and if not, Kenyon Green. I think, just for sake of switching it up, we're going to go ahead and this time get... Giants fans, let me know. Would you rather have David Ajabo or George Karloftis? Like, if you if you had to take an edge rusher here, would you prefer Karloftis or Ajabo? I think we're going to go with... Um, I think we're going to go with Karloftis. Um, I like David Ajabo or actually, actually, no, I think we are going to go with David Ajabo because I mean, they've already got Leonard Williams. I feel like Karloftis is pretty similar of a player to, um, to Karloftis. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take David Ajabo here. I think him and Aziz Ojolari would be a good combination there. So then at number eight, um, I hear that the Falcons aren't super high on Karloftis, even though they need to improve their pass rush. So I think what we're going to do instead is um, definitely improve the secondary a lot. And I'm going to switch it up. Normally, I would take Derek Stingley here. I think he's an absolute beast. I think he's going to be a stud in the NFL. But we are going to actually go with Ahmad Sauce Gardner. I really love this kid. Um, I'm glad he's finally starting to get some more hype. Number nine, we have the Broncos on the board. And man, it's a tough one. Um, again, like I said, I think they're definitely going to be in consideration for Aaron Rodgers this offseason. I think they are the most likely team to get Aaron Rodgers. So if that's the case, they're definitely not even going to have this pick. I think, 
I think we're still going to have them go quarterback. I think they want to go quarterback regardless whether they can get Aaron Rodgers or one of these other guys. I mean, really, the Broncos are so close. Like, the Broncos, I truly feel like, are a good quarterback away from really competing. So we're going to take a look at the remaining quarterbacks. I think we're going to take Carson Strong. He's looked really good at the Senior Bowl. I'm, I like to see, I think he's the best pure pocket passer in the draft. Um, I think, I think he's a good fit for the Broncos. Number 10, the Jets are on the board and they are going to go ahead and snag Kyle Hamilton. I know Jets fans do not like Kyle Hamilton. Um, trust me, I've, I've been through the ringer, um, from by Jets fans um, for always picking him, but he's a stud, you know. And and really, if he falls to number ten, you just can't pass up on a player like that. I get that safeties usually don't have a whole lot of value, but he's he's gonna be worth it. Trust me. Number eleven, the Carolina Panthers are now on the board, and they are going to go. They're going to go with Tyler Linderbaum right here. Um, a lot of a lot of people would probably have them go Charles Cross. I think it's the interior offensive line that's the problem. I like Brady Christensen. I think he deserves another year of starting to see how he really does. Um, you know, give him some more time to be evaluated. Um, in the meantime, shore up the interior offensive line, get a an absolute stud of a sender. So number 12, the, Vi <coughs> the Vikings go ahead and go Derek Stingley from LSU. Number 13, the Browns, they go ahead and take the best receiver on the board. Um, which actually, let me rephrase that. I like Traylon Burks the most. I think he's the best receiver on the board. But I think Garrett Wilson is the best fit for the Browns. For what the Browns are doing, I think Garrett Wilson fits their system the best. Number 14, the Ravens are on the board, and they're going to go ahead and snag George Karloftis. They want to get younger at the edge rusher position. Um, I think it makes complete sense. I mean, Clayce Campbell and Justin Houston are both, uh, you know, really getting up there in age. Um, I'm not sure if they're... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if either one of them retired this offseason. They're, they're getting pretty old, uh, so... Number 15, um, man, I, I, I'm kind of starting to feel lame always having Devin Lloyd go to the Eagles, but it's just, it's literally such a good fit. Like, I, I really don't think there's a better fit in the entire draft than Devin Lloyd to the Eagles. Like, it's just, it's just perfect. So they're going to go with that. I think think because of how deep the cornerback class is they're gonna hold on that and go ahead and actually snag a Traylon Burks right here go ahead and get their uh you know get a new stud receiver number 17 the Chargers go ahead and this time they're going Charles Cross um get I think Charles Cross really can play on the right side which I think right tackle is definitely what the Chargers need on that offensive line. I mean, you got Corey Lindsley at center, obviously got Rashawn Slater at left tackle. I mean, you throw Charles Cross at right tackle, and that offensive line looks a lot better. So at 18 here, we're going to have the Saints go with. We're gonna have them take a take. We're gonna have them take a look at Chris Olave. Um I think Chris Olave is definitely one of the better route runners in this um, in this draft class. He's just he he's so smooth with it, and I think he'd be a good fit there. Number nineteen, the Eagles are back on the board, <clears throat> and there is definitely debate here: corner or edge. Um, you took Devin Lloyd earlier. Devin Lloyd can blitz, so keep in mind he can already put on some good pressure on the quarterback anyways. He can blitz. Um, So do you want to help out the secondary or do you want to... 
Um, well, I guess really either either one would help out the secondary because if you're rushing the passer, the secondary doesn't have to cover as long anyways. I think we're going to go with edge rusher, and the reason for that is, um, is that Darius Slay was absolutely locked down this season, and really their secondary was was really one of the better secondaries in the league. I I th- I thought they looked really good for the most part. Um and really really for them, I would almost consider um replacing their safeties before corners, but I don't know. I think we're going to go ahead and go Trayvon Walker right here. Number 20, the Lions are finally on the board, and they are going to go ahead and snag. Let's see. I think we'll go ahead and have them snag Jamison Williams right now. Go ahead and get them a really good weapon. Really help out their rebuild. I was tempted to take Jordan Davis right there because that would really help their run defense but I'm not sure one of these better receivers would be available at their other pick at 32 so we had to just take Jameson Williams 21 the Patriots on the board we're gonna go ahead and give them Andrew Booth he's an absolute stud from Clemson I think Bill Belichick will know exactly how to put him in the system 22 um the Raiders since he's on the board are gonna go ahead and take Jordan Davis I really like Jordan Davis. I don't think he gets the love and credit he deserves. He's 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 a stud. I think he can really help that Raiders rush defense. And the Raiders have a few needs. They've got a need at wide receiver. They've got a need at cornerback. Um, really, they could use another linebacker, help out Denzel Perriman and KJ Wright. Um, but Jordan Davis really helps plug up holes and really makes the you know the the secondary and the linebackers jobs a lot easier so 23 the cardinals are going to be taking i think we're going to go ahead and give them kair elam that thing wants to stay up there we go kair elam from florida another guy who i don't think gets enough credit i i love this kid so much he's he's a stud um 24, the Cowboys are going to go ahead and snag. I think they're going to go ahead and snag Kenyon Green. Um, You know, I personally didn't think the Cowboys offensive line was that bad this year, but um, their left guard, uh, I believe his name was Connor Williams. Um, He actually struggled quite a bit. So definitely replace him when there's a good player like Kenyon Green on the board. Um, That kind of throws a wrench into the Bills plans right here. I think they were definitely considering Kenyon Green right there because they need some interior offensive line help. So instead, they're going to go ahead and snag. Let's see. They're going to snag actually the big wide receiver, Drake London from USC. That'll really help um, Josh Allen in the in the red zone because he can just throw it up to Drake London and he'll get it. I could see Drake London being a guy that doesn't really rack up a ton of yards, but gets like really in that system, you know, eight to 11 touchdowns because of how good of a red zone threat he's going to be. Um, 26, the... Titans are on the board, and we're going to go ahead and give them Trevor Penning. Um, My understanding is he's had a pretty solid um, senior bowl performance so far. I believe day two, he kind of struggled a little bit. Um, Or actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, I was thinking of another tackle. Trevor Penning, if I remember correctly, actually had a hard time at the senior bowl was drawing a lot of flags it was i think it was bernard hold up give me just a second let me verify this yeah so it was trevor penning i was thinking of that was drawing a lot of flags at the senior bowl was struggling and bernard raymond 
actually has been doing really well. Um, I'm a big fan of him. I don't think he really gets a lot of credit. So we're going to go ahead and take Bernard Raymond. And then here, here at 27 for the Bucks, we're not going to go quarterback this time. Um, even though like Matt Corral is on the board right here, you can definitely consider it. Or even, or even like Sam Howell, to be honest. Not a big fan of Desmond Ritter, if I'm being honest. I, I think he's got a lot he needs to work on, and I think he's probably two, three years out from being an NFL starter, to be honest. Um, so I guess you could consider Sam Howell, but we're not going to go wide receiver. Or we're not going to go quarterback. We are going to go wide receiver and go with Jahan Dotson. 28, the Packers are on the board, and we're going to go ahead and give them... Let's see. We're going to go ahead and give them Cam Thomas, help out the other side of uh, Zadarius Smith. Then the Dolphins are on the board. We're going to go ahead and give them... I feel like they need interior offensive line help. I really do. I'm going to go ahead and give them Zion Johnson. Um, Johnson is a guy that, like... I feel like when the combine comes, he's going to absolutely destroy the combine and his draft stock is going to skyrocket. I really like Zion Johnson. Um, then here at 30, the Chiefs are going to go ahead and snag Daxton Hill. At 31, the Bengals are going to go ahead and take Nic Nicholas Petit Ferrer. Um... Yeah, Trevor Penning is definitely one of those guys that has lowered his draft stock with the Senior Bowl so far. He has not looked very good at all. He was definitely one of my higher projected guys, but with the Senior Bowl, he has really struggled. So take Nicholas Petit Frere right there instead. And then 32, the Lions still get a stud edge rusher in Jermaine Johnson. He has also been killing it at the Senior Bowl. I, um, I'm a big fan of what I've seen. He, and I promise this isn't because they're from the same school. His mechanics look a lot like Brian Burns. He is deadly with that spin move. He is fast off the edge. He's he's fun to watch. Jermaine Johnson is fun to watch. So um, I think that'd be awesome for the Lions to get. So let me know what you think of this mock draft. Let me know if there's... Um, Anything you completely disagree with, let me know if there's something you completely agree with. Just let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Again, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.